Hi, I'm Cesar. In this tutorial, I would like to discuss about the first simulation using OpenFoam. Uh, before we get started, I hope you already uh, see my previous video or part zero about uh, some Linux commands for OpenFoam and maybe just to review so you understand what we are doing with the scripts. Uh, actually, it's just like uh, some simple scripts, so don't worry, you don't have to be a Linux expert to use OpenFoam. And you can also use the user interface from Windows if you use Windows to edit the folders and also the files. But uh, personally, I use um, command line more often because it is more convenient and faster but of course it's based, based on your own uh, preference okay let's just start it in this part one i will not uh, discuss much about the details theory and anything i just want to make sure that after you install your open foam correctly you can run your first open foam simulation so for the installation i will not discuss in this video also because uh, some open foam versions are just have different installation procedure but uh, mostly they are just the same you just type on the google search Maybe the open form version you want, like uh, in this video, uh, we, we will use the open form 11. Just type the open form 11 install and you get some uh, scripts. Of course, after you install the w WSL for Windows, or maybe if you are on the Linux Ubuntu environment, or maybe you are using um, iOS using the Docker, you just copy and paste the um, the scripts on the website for the installation just follow it step by step very easy and it uh, will be rarely error and okay and if you already installed it of course you have to install the paraview as well because the paraview software will we will use to open the uh, result or the post-processing okay to get started i just want to review what is open foam open foam is stands for the open source field operation and manipulation so it's basically the open source algorithm i can see to solve the uh, partial differential equation and mostly uh, you know like dedicated for computational fluid dynamics because computational fluid dynamics has a lot of partial differential equation really complex and it has also the field equations which are really complex like Navier-Stokes equation but it is also a file available for like let's say the stress analysis and finance but I don't know I never use the finance using this open form and open form itself is not a single software but it's it is a collection of some uh, solvers like uh, let's say like the steady state incompressible flow or maybe a Newtonian solver or maybe some multiphase or high speed supersonic flow and much more it will be uh, always updated every year because the open form community is quite large and uh, it is always updated with the recent topics or maybe the research trend during uh, that time so let's get started 
the basic folders for open form or maybe um we will use in the template is or we um call it the case folder the three main folders are system constant and zero folder the system folder contains some files like the uh, numerical scheme scheme or maybe the the control for the uh, iteration maybe and also the mesh setting then the consultant folder stores like the uh, constants like the gravity or maybe the viscosity and density and the zero folder is the initiation file so it will be like the initiation uh, condition if you use the transient simulation or maybe like the boundary condition if you simulate the steady state solver so basically open foam is not built by you know it is locked not like the geometry editor or maybe you just you input the click one by one to set up your solution but it is basically uh, available on the templates and you can edit the templates to make new simulation let's say in this simulation or this uh, tutorial i will use the sample of cavity uh, lead driven cavity flow which is like the basically just a box with fluid in it and um, on the top of this box it will be a moving moving wall with certain velocity and um, we already have the template so we just run that template in this first part of this tutorial and maybe in the next tutorial i will try to demonstrate how to change the boundary condition like the speed and maybe the uh, box uh, the mesh and anything so the basic steps actually is just very very simple the first step is you just copy the template folder and um, during this first step you must absolutely uh, understand what will be the physics of this uh, template for example if we want to uh, simulate the lead driven cavity a folder let's say for uh, incompressible fluid um, isothermal and anything so make sure you copy the right template before you start your simulation then generate mesh we will talk uh, about mesh maybe in the two or three videos because in open form we have some uh, mesh scheme like the block mesh snappy hex and maybe just how to set it correctly then run it basically running process is uh, will be done completely by computer we just type the solver name and just wait until it's done and the last step is post processing which we will use uh, the third party software which is the paraview paraview itself is also uh, open source and free software and it is very popular to be used in the you know science and maybe to plot some 3d graphic to open stl and anything like that so for open form the most um, popular software will be used is paraview of course you can always use other post-processing tool if you have okay okay just open the wsl and um, maybe i will copy the simulation so i hope before I start this tutorial you already review the part zero so I am not uh, explain it in the detail what I type so I just go to my home directory and I go to the open form project let's say and maybe I will make new folder using make directory trial what is the 
part one let's say part one tutorial let's just part one and we go to the part one and i want to copy the template from the tutorial so basically i will use the opt open foam and um, tutorials then incompressible fluid cavity and don't forget to put the dot and hit enter so we have cavity in our part one here we go we already have the template or if you are not um, familiar with this command line you can just check your linux folder this is usually at home folder and your name or username then um, open from projects part one cavity you have these three folders which is the very basic folders or template used in open foam of course for complex problem or complex algorithm you will have uh, additional folders but the most um, basic folders are these three okay let's see or maybe uh, we will skip the editing process just make everything simple to make sure that your installation is correct so just the second step it is the first step right first step is to copy template folder so, um, step two is to generate mesh so you to generate mesh i basically just type the block mesh but make sure that you type this command inside this folder so if you let's say go to the zero folder you you cannot type block mesh it will not works because it is on the zero folder so you must go to your uh, main folder so just type block mesh and it is works perfectly without any error so i want to check it first on the para view of or you can type the para view here to open the para view um okay but um to open the file in the on the para view you must first convert it into the um, foam file so let's say i will uh, make the foam file like part one sorry to make new file you should use this command touch touch uh let's say part one dot foam so dot foam is the extension of the file which will be easily open on the para view just hit enter and let's refresh it so you have part one just drag and drop it or you can open it from the uh, para view so here we go our part one dot foam click apply and this is our mesh or our block if you want to see the mesh just change the um view to the surface and surface with edges or you can use the wireframe if you want okay we will discuss the setting of the mesh later in the more detail let's just go on uh, um, the, the third step is to run it so just type the solver so in this cavity template the solver is form run so just type this and hit enter and just wait until the solver um, finish in the other parts we will also discuss how to use the parallel parallelization of the uh, solver so we can optimize our use of cores let's say um i want to check the okay it's done okay no problem so 
to update our um, part one dot form we just touch it again touch part one dot form hit enter so um, this file will be updated like you, you can check it and just refresh or reload and you can see that we have some data that is that previously not uh, available here so just like let's check the velocity okay you see this is the velocity or maybe if you if you want to check the middle part of this or the middle plane you, we can use this slice and change the orientation to the z normal direction so this is our slice now if you want to display the box like this or maybe we will discuss more about the post processing in the separate video just check this uh the the velocity oh sorry we must go to this last one and uh hide the plane and actually it is the fourth step which is post processing we can change the velocity sorry the velocity and we can play it like you see here our time is moving because it is actually not transient analysis but it is just steady state but it will change over the iteration so if you see here and maybe we can make a little touch here using the stream tracer using this diagonal maybe oh, we can just use small resolution to make the image clearer okay too much i think maybe just 20. here we go our streamline and we can change the color let's say using the solid color and okay that's all maybe we will discuss more about the post processing sorry so okay so it is end of our tutorial so please comment in the uh, comment section below if you want to request some uh, topics i hope i can help you and maybe this uh, open form series will be long series and which will be comprehensive and detailed i hope and um that's all thank you for watching please subscribe if you like this channel and you can also connect me uh, via my instagram or maybe linkedin if you want to contact me directly for maybe a uh, consultation about uh, open form or maybe about your project in mechanical engineering design related to fluid or structural analysis well okay thank you for watching see you in the next video